it's the Golf WRX winning what's in the bag from the 2024 Farmers Insurance Open. This week is a huge congratulations to Matthew Pavon as he took the, his first PGA Tour victory out at Torrey Pines at the Farmers. Matthew's a Ping staffer, so everything we take a look at today is going to be Ping, but there's nothing wrong with that. Ping's been making some amazing clubs these past few years, and actually, honestly, for generations. So let's start at the top of the back and take a look. The first thing he's got is the Ping G430 Max driver. He's playing a 9-degree head with a Fujikura Ventus TR Black 6X shaft. Uh, another great thing about the G430 Max is the fact that you'll see the best players in the world, like Matthew, use it to win tournaments. And then you go to your local municipal club or, or, or municipal course or club, and you'll see the same driver in play by many amateurs there. It just blends forgiveness, ball speed, good sound and feel, and a ton of adjustability through hosel and rear weight uh, adjustments. Now, the Fujikura Ventus TR Black is probably the lowest, launches, lowest launching, lowest spinning, and stiffest shaft that Fujikura makes. Ultra stiff tip ultra stiff handle section, pretty stiff midsection, just overall stiff profile. So if you're looking for the ultimate in stability with low launch and, and low spin, the Fujikura TR Black is probably a good choice there. Um, then you move into three wood and we've got the Ping G430 LST, the 15 degree head. Now the LST is the low spin, low launch fairway wood in the Ping G430 lineup. It's got a titanium uh, face on it, a forward press CG, um, a bunch of tungsten in the sole, it's extremely long, extremely low spin, and for better players who are looking for a little flatter ball flight and more distance, it's a great option. Again, adjustable hosel, and using the same Fujikura Ventus TR Black, this time in the 70 gram X-Flex version. So again, low launch and low spin there. He is a pretty big hitter, so it makes sense to play something kind of stout and stiff like the TR Black. Then we move into G430, or the, the hybrid, which is a 19 degree Ping G430 hybrid. Uh, this here has a, actually a Ventus HB Black, which the HB is the hybrid or utility iron shaft. It can be used in either one. They make a blue and a black. The black is, of course, the lower launching, lower spin option. And this is a 10TX shaft. So this is a 100 gram shaft uh, for his hybrid in TX Flex. And TX Flex, uh, there's X Flex and then there's TX. So TX is just a little bit stouter than an X Flex. Typically, it's a little bit lower torque or it's got slight uh, variations compared to the X Flex model, uh, but a low launch, low spin hybrid shaft in a hybrid that's got a little lower profile face, very easy to hit off the turf, launches high, lands soft. So, an interesting combination there between those two. Then we move into the irons. He's playing three through pitching wedge in the Ping I-230s. The I-230s, I think, are extremely consistent in terms of distance control. They're very forgiving. They've got pretty good sound and feel and great turf interaction, the way the sole is kind of cambered there. Uh, they're not crazy hot, but they are long. And again, that, consist uh, that distance consistency is probably what a, what a lot of players on tour like. I can really see these I-230s taking over for kind of the cult classic I-210 that hung around on tour for so long in so many pros' bag. Again, this is going to be one of those irons that you're going to readily see at your local club, and you're also going to see it on tour quite a bit. And these are shafted with Nippon Modus Tour 120Xs. Now, the Nippon Tour 120 is a little bit softer shaft in terms of, of to flex. It plays just a little bit softer. It's got a little softer handle section, but that makes sense with Matthew's really controlled and, and kind of perfect tempo. It makes sense that it might work so well for him. Uh, and then you move into the wedges. And the wedges are the brand new Ping SI 59s. He's playing a 52 and a 58 degree wedge. And those are also, again, shafted up with the Nippon Modus Tour 120Xs. Uh, now, the SI 59s, uh, don't know a ton of official info from Ping yet, but some classic designs, great shapes. Matthew's playing what looks to be the raw version, looks like they're rusting a little bit, but I love the kind of the beautiful design. I think it's probably the best looking wedge Ping uh, has ever made to, in my eyes, and they've added a bunch of sole and bounce options uh, coming into this year for even more fitting possibilities, uh, you know, with wedges for you or anyone else. And then we move into the putter, which is a little bit older. Everything else has been brand new here. Now we move into a putter that is from 2015. So the putter is a Ping Cadence TR Tomcat C. It's a long name, and it's a kind of unique looking putter. It's center shafted and has an insert that is called TR, which stood for True Roll. 
and the insert has horizontal lines on it that vary in depth and angle, and what they do is provide consistent ball speed, whether you strike it dead center or you miss it a little on the toe or a little on the heel. It keeps that ball speed consistent no matter where you hit it on the face. Now, center shafted putters are typically liked by players with really good hands uh, and really good feel, and they like to be able to kind of feel that putter uh, throughout the whole stroke and man manipulate the face if, it, if at all necessary. Uh, and center shafted, you know, while you don't see a ton of them out there, you know, all the time, they have made a little bit of a comeback, and we've seen some more models uh, across lineups of all manufacturers. Uh, he's also on that, has a Super Stroke Claw 1.0P grip. And then you move into grips, and across the rest of his clubs, he uses a Golf Pride MCC Align. So this is the white and black grip that has a kind of a red strip of rubber right on the underside to kind of have that reminder feel. And it's dual density, so the upper hand or the, the top of the grip has a firmer corded feel, and the lower hand has, or lower section of the grip is white and has a softer compound rubber for more feel. And then ball-wise, he's playing the Pro V1. Uh, Pro V1 is going to be kind of the more penetrating ball out of the Pro V1 lineup. Uh, low spin uh, on the long game, a lot of green side, green side stop and drop control, high spin on the short game. So that is Matthew Pavone's What's in the Bag from his victory, his first PGA Tour victory at the Farmers Insurance Open out at Torrey Pines. Congrats, Matthew.